This is a 2008 24 inch iMac um, that I picked up at my local thrift store for $42. And this is the note it has on it. iMac 8.1 24 inch A1225. 2008 vintage, originally running OS 10, 10.17, that's not true, El Capitan, unknown password, and we have no Apple account for the update, so I couldn't restore it to its historic beauty. However, if you have an Apple account, you could do so. Note that OS 10 with this machine cannot be updated. We'll see. Intel Core 2 Duo E8235, Radeon HD 2600 graphics, 4 gigs of RAM, 320 gigabyte hard drive. Apple keyboard and mouse work fine, but I'd suggest using a generic mouse for ease of use. Slow booting up, 58 seconds. Inasmuch as the CPU is Intel, I installed Windows 10 Pro 32-bit, a Windows 7 interface that can easily be removed, Firefox, and updated drivers. Please note that we do not accept returns on units like this. Questions? Ask Rick. So flipping open the box here, we do have the original designed by Apple in California box. This is my first time opening this. Uh, I checked to make sure the machine was in there, but other than that, I did not. Oops, uh, opened it backwards. So we have the Mighty Mouse in really good shape. Wow, I have actually never owned one of these. This is an Apple remote, but it's like the first gen remote. This is like pre-Apple TV remote. I've actually never owned one of those. That's really cool. And then we have a USB keyboard that's a little yellow, but I mean it's there. I have to test these items out and see if they work. If we remove that piece of styrofoam, we have the iMac and a piece of paper. Well, it looks like he tried, at the very least. He tried. Can't be mad at him for not knowing. Oh, God, it's heavy. And I'm doing this one-handed. This needs some cleaning. But yeah, 24-inch iMac. Uh, this is one of the beefy computers that still has a DVD super drive in it. But yeah, let's, um, let's boot it up first. I kind of want to see what this Windows 10 slash 7 interface looks like. And then we're going to upgrade it and get Mac OS back on it. Like I said, the guy tried. He's put classic shell on there. Can't get my camera to focus. Yeah, he's put a basic classic shell with a different start menu and whatnot. That's great and all, but it's a Mac. We're gonna run Mac OS on it. Like I said, I don't fault him for trying. Um, not everyone really knows how to work on these things, but it's kind of my forte. So let's get started. Okay, so according to the box, we are maxed out on RAM. However, it has a mechanical hard drive. I have an SSD, a 500 gigabyte SSD, and I've actually already split it into two partitions. One partition is going to run the latest Mac OS we can run on this, which should be Monterey. The second partition is going to run OS X Leopard, and eventually Snow Leopard. I just can't find my copy of Snow Leopard right now, so Leopard it is. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take the glass off. That's where this suction cup comes in, and I'm going to need both hands, so you'll see it afterward. Finally found the connector that was holding the screen on. Um, so something imperative when you take this hard drive off 
do not lose what is under this foam piece. It is a heat sensor, and you're going to have to pry it off. It's glued on there. Um, I know. I know that SSDs do not usually generate a ton of heat. However, if you do not have this plugged in and connected to something, your iMac will thermal throttle like crazy. I have seen it happen. I've seen me do it. So just make sure you have that piece on. All right, first one I want to do is Leopard because it's going to be the easiest. So I hit the power button and then I hold down the option key. While I'm holding down the option key, I put in the DVD, which I will, well, it's already in the option, the boot thing. So I'm gonna put the DVD in right now. You know how rare it is to find one of these that still has a working, functioning DVD drive? Like seriously? There it is. And there it is. Now I'm not gonna walk through installing Leopard. It, it, if you want an install or a how-to guide, go go Google it. This is just kind of a vlog of sorts. Um, so I'll install Leopard and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, about 30 minutes later and the install succeeded, so we are going to restart. And I don't care if it gets me a copyright strike or not. We're going to watch that glorious intro video that comes with Leopard. Because it's honestly the best part. It's the best part of doing this. And yes, eventually I will upgrade this to Snow Leopard. I just can't. I can't find my DVD, so Leopard it was today. Speaking of DVD. I hope this thing ejects. I didn't even think about that. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. Phew. <laughs> and doing everything one-handed is horrible. Well, that's not good. We have no sound. Um, hmm. It's possible that this actually shipped with Snow Leopard. Uh, I'll need to check. We may not have a sound card driver. So I found out what was wrong with it. Um, these machines shipped with Leopard 10.5.2. My DVD is Leopard 10.5.2. Point one. I can't even get the USB to do eject. Um, so the point is, I need a newer version of Leopard. Yes, I get it. There we go. So I downloaded the Temp 5.8 update and go through all of this. What? Uh, okay. Okay. Technically two days later, because it's 12, 12 a.m., but uh, I got Snow Leopard and Ventura installed on the iMac. Um, I'll let this boot real quick, and then I'll show you Ventura. So there it is, Mac OS Ventura. As you can see, 2.8 gigahertz Core 2 Duo, right on HD 2600 Pro, 256 megabytes of VRAM, four gigs of DDR2, and running Ventura 13.4.1. So there's that. Now, this is the latest and greatest operating system, and I plan on doing a part two to show everything that you really could do in 2023 with a 2008 iMac. However, I really think this shines with its classic Mac OS. Let me show you. Alright, so it's hard to see because of the glare, but um, 
there is my snow leopard partition and I'm going to click it and we're going to see how fast this thing boots. So here we go. Right at 13 seconds from start to finish and the little paper that it came with said that it booted in 58 seconds using that original hard drive but as you can see this is the same iMac just running 1068 and um, what I want to do in part two is actually show you everything that you could do in 2023 using 1068 um, I'm going to show both. Now that video is not coming out for a couple of weeks. I'm actually going out of town for two weeks and I'm not taking the iMac with me. So this is the last update for a while. Um, subscribe if you want to see part two and leave me a comment below on what you think I should try in 2023. This is Adam. Take it easy.